Yo, what is going on everybody? Stamp and we're back on the Madden Ultimate Team 16 player review and today we got a bruiser. We got Michael Kendricks, middle linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles, captain set 90 overall, zone defense chemistry. Now if you guys want to go check out the full review, make sure you guys go check it out at dailymutt.com. We'll have the full review and full rating there so you guys can actually read it and incorporate it. We also got a bunch of other uh, cards, mutt player reviews that you guys can look forward to seeing. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go over a couple of the key stats. Six foot, 90 speed, 77 strength, 83 agility, 55 catching, 86 awareness, 92 acceleration, 93 jumping, 97 pursuit, 93 stamina, 89 injury, going over a couple of other things on the back of the card. It's got 94 tackling, 93 power, 86 power moves, 97 pursuit, 73 man coverage, 81 block shed, 79 finesse move, 89 press, which is, oh no, pre play recognition, I'm sorry, and then 53 press coverage. Now, my overall time with this uh, with this middle linebacker is simply put, I think he's the best middle linebacker in the game right now for a couple of reasons. Speed, one of the fastest, if not, I think he's the fastest middle linebacker to date right now with 90 speed and 92 acceleration. You can keep up with any wide receiver or running back when you're using him. Another uh, reason is his coverage. His coverage stats are pretty decent. 72 man coverage, 84 zone coverage. So if you let the CPU control him and put him into those things, I would recommend putting him into his zone because they're higher, but he can also play man coverage. But to be honest, you guys should be using this card and not letting the CPU control it because it would be a shame. Uh, next thing would be his tackle strength. He's got so much hit power. I think he's got like 93 hit power and he lays the boom. Now when he lays the boom, I mean he lays the boom. I made so many people fumble in multiple games. Uh, I even have a couple of hit, uh, hit powers in, in, in these clips that I'm showing you. Definitely, definitely should be getting this card to lay the boomstick. Catching? Now, he only has 55 catching, but when usering this card, I feel like you get a lot more interceptions because when you use her, you have a better chance, I believe, in this game to get interceptions than when you're not using the card. I guarantee you, if you're not using the card, the CPU will drop a lot of picks just because it has 55 catching. But with my time, I always use this card. 90% of the time, I'm using this card, and I always come away with the pick at least 90% of the time. I can't complain with the users um, and then block shedding now this is the probably the down point of this card I didn't really like its block shedding I would always get suctioned into tackles wouldn't be able to block and uh, get block shed or get to the running back or to the quarterback uh, maybe it was because I was pressing the wrong button maybe it wasn't but that was just my my uh, my experience with him and the lastly users this is one of the best cards to user. I just like I said, he's got the agility, he's got the strength, he's got the speed, he's got the acceleration to keep up with anything. You should get this card. Anybody, I'm gonna say it right now, anybody should get this card. He's only like 90k to 100k. Save up, get this card. He's definitely gonna be worth it. So now let's go over my final thoughts. Pros, so much speed. He's the fastest middle linebacker I think right now to date with 90 speed and 92 acceleration. Hit power, 93 hit power, definitely lays the boom, will cause a lot of fumbles or jar the ball loose. Uh, user ability, he can be usered so easily, you can just make cuts, flip around, do whatever you want, do the dosi -si do flip around, do whatever you want with this card, you can do it with ease. Now a couple of the bad things, cons, catching, uh, I didn't have a problem with catching, but he does have 55 catching, so I will keep a lookout on that stat for you guys. And block shedding, I didn't really get the best block shed with this guy. Maybe he has better block shed when the CPU is controlling him. Like I said, I always control this guy. I control 90% of the time, and I lurk the field with him. Definitely going to be a great card. My final verdict on this card is going to be a 9.3. I believe he's better than the 94 Ray Lewis that's out there. Definitely, definitely going to have to save up your coins and get him. That's going to be the end of the player review, guys. Make sure you guys go check out the full written review at dailymutt.com. Create a free account, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.